Hello and welcome. This is real numbers video number two and in this video we are going to learn how to find out HCF using Euclid's division lemma. Now let's do one thing. Let's first quickly recap what is HCF. HCF simply means highest common factor. So let's arbitrarily take any two numbers. So maybe we can take the number 18 and the number 48. So I have written two random numbers and let's find out the HCF of 18 and 48. So that what does it mean? It means that we are trying to find out the highest factor that will divide evenly into 18 and 48. So when we divide 18 by that number, we get 0 as remainder. And when we divide 48 by that number, we get 0. So that is the largest factor. So how do we actually find that out? Well, we have seen in our earlier classes that we need to find out all the prime factors for each of the numbers. So 18, we can break it down as 2 times 9. And 9, we can break it down as 3 times 3. So that means 18, we can write it over here. So 18 is basically, we can write 18 as 2 times 3 times 3. So these are all the factors of 18. Now, what about 48? So let's uh, do 48 over here, 48. So we can break down 48 as 2 times. So this will be 2 and uh, this will be 4, right? Now, 24, again, we can break it down as 2 times 12. And 12, we can break it down as 4 times 3. And we can break down 4 as 2 times 2. So let's now write all of the factors for 48. So we have 48. So let's find out. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and a 3. So how many 2s do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 2s and 1, 3 here, right? So we can write it as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And now we are trying to find out the highest common factor. So we see that there is a 2 here and there is a 2 here. So this is a common factor between both of them. And also we see there is a 3 here and there is a 3 here. Now at this point, for 18, there is only one 3 left and for 48, there are no more 3s here. So we say that the HCF, HCF or the highest common factor within brackets for 18, 48 is equal to 2 times 3, 2 times 3 or it is the number 6. Now let's do one thing. Let's take another example. This time let's take maybe three digit numbers. So let's say our numbers this time are, um, let's see, uh, maybe the number 100 and, and maybe the number 524. I'm randomly picking these numbers again. So now let's say, so how do we uh, find out HCF of these two numbers? So we are going to do the exact same thing like we did before. So 100, we can write that as 10 times 10, right? And for the 10, we can write it as 2 times 5. And this 10, we can again write it as 2 times 5. Now for 524, we can break this down as two times. Now we have to do this mental math. So let's say, so two twos are four. So one will be remaining. So one and two is 12. So two six are 12 and two twos are four. Now this two six two number, we can again break this down as two times. So this will be one, then this will be three and this will be one. I believe 131 is a prime number. So let's see what we have here. So 100, we can write 100 uh, in terms of all prime factors as 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. And we can write the number 524 as, so we have 2 times 2, so 2 times 2 times 131. So what are all the common factors? So we see there is a 2 here and there is a 2 here. There is one more 2 and there is one more 2. And now for 100, we have 5 and 5 left. And for 524, we have 131. So there are no more common factors left. So we can say at this point that the HCF, HCF of 100 and 524 is simply 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. So I want to emphasize at this point that so far, whatever we have done, is something we have already started in our previous classes, right? So there is nothing new. We have just quickly refreshed our memories of what is HCF and how do we find out HCFs of any two given numbers. 
Now let's take a look at what Euclid is saying as, or what is Euclid's, or, or, or how we can use Euclid's division lemma to calculate the HCF of any two given numbers. Now in the last video, we have seen what is Euclid's division lemma. So I'm going to put a link to that video here. It simply states that if we have any two given positive integers a and b, then there exist unique integers q and r that satisfy the equation a equals b times q plus r, where r, the remainder, is greater than or equal to 0 but less than b, which is the original divisor. And we have seen in the last video that Euclid's division lemma is nothing but really the way we do long division. Now let's find out how using this we can calculate HCF. So let's say we start with two positive integers a and b where a is greater than b. So the first step is that we have to apply Euclid's division lemma to a and b and find out the number q and r. That means we have to find out the quotient and the remainder. All right, we can do that. The second step is saying if the remainder is zero, then b, which is a divisor, that is the HCF. So we don't have to do anything else. In other words, let's quickly write it over here. So let's say a and b because a is greater than b so let's say we divide a by b when we do this division we are going to find out quotient and remainder so if remainder is zero we don't do anything else and at that point the divisor is our hcf right but what happens if remainder is not zero if remainder is not zero now we continue euclid's division lemma but now instead of a instead of a we use b what is b b is the divisor and instead of b we use r which is the current remainder meaning this time we will again do the long division but instead of dividing a by b what we are going to do we are going to divide b by r right and okay what happens then and then we move on to step three, which says we keep doing this till R is zero. And whenever R gets to zero at that point, whatever is the divisor, that will be the required HCF. All right, so this sounds very complicated. So why don't we take a look at an example and see how it actually goes. So now let's do one thing. How about we actually apply Euclid's division lemma to the two examples that we did? Right. So the very last example, what, what we did was the second example was we are trying to find out the HCF of the number 100 and 524. And we know that the HCF is actually, I believe it was four. So let's apply Euclid's division lemma and see if we indeed get four. So the first step is what? The first step is actually to divide 500 by 524 by 100, right? When we do that, what do we get? So we get the quotient as 5, so 100 is a 500, and then when we subtract, we get 24. Now 24 is a remainder. Is remainder 0? It is not. So we have to move on to our step 2. So now if the remainder is not 0, what do we do? We do the long division again, but this time, instead of having 5, 24, 100 becomes that number, right? Meaning this time we are trying to divide 100 by 24. In the first example, what we did in the first step, I should say, we divided 524 by 100. Now we are dividing 100 by 24. So let's do it over here. So we have 24 and then we have 100. Right? So now what do we get? So here, uh, I, I believe this will be if we do 8, right? What do we get? If we do, uh, well, 8 will be too big because 8 to the 16. I meant 4. So if you divide by 4, I think that is what we need here. So let's see. If we do by 4, do we get more than 100 or less than 100? So 4 4 is 16, 1 carry over. 4 2 is 8 plus 1 9. Oh, we got really lucky. So it is 100 minus 96, or remainder will be 4. Now at this point, uh, do we have an answer? We don't have an answer. Remember, we have to keep doing it till the remainder gets to 0. So now what are we going to do? At this point, we have to divide 24 by 4, right? So we have to divide 24 because that is the old divisor. We have to divide this by the remainder, which is 4. So let's do it over here. So if we do divide 24 by 4, 
we know that 4, 6 are 24 and we get 0. So now remainder is 0. And what did the last step say? Whenever the remainder is 0, whatever is the divisor, that is the required HCF. And indeed, we have looked before when we used our usual way of calculating the HCF of 100 and 524, we realized 4 was the HCF. And using Euclid's dilemma, we see that 4 is indeed the HCF. How about we go back and take a look at the first example and see if that works with Euclid's division lemma. So our number for the first example was, I believe it was 18 and 48, right? It was 18 and 48 and our answer was 6. So let's do this division. So what we are going to do, the first thing is that we are going to divide 48 by 18. So let's do it. So when we do this division over here, let's do it here. So 18 twos are 36. So 2 and we will have 36 here. When we subtract, so this will be 2, this will be 1. So because we are at step 2 now, remainder is not 0. So next what we are going to do, we are going to now divide 18 by 12. Right? So let's do it over here. So now we are dividing the number 18 by 12. And when we do that, we get 12 ones are 12. And now we have 6 as a remainder. So now what are we going to do? Now we need to divide 12 by 6. Now we have to divide 12 by 6. So let's do that over here. So 6 twos are 12 obviously. So now we get remainder 0. And when, do, when we do get remainder 0, the divisor which is 6 will be the required HCF. And indeed we have seen before, when we have the two numbers 18 and 48, that 6 is indeed the HCF. So this is how we use Euclid's division lemma to calculate HCF of any two given positive integers. So if you are enjoying these videos and if you want to get more such videos delivered to you, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on whenever I upload new videos.